Hi guys, Daniel here, welcome back to another of my tech how-to videos and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the BIOS version on your Gigabyte motherboard. The motherboard I have is the A52M DS3H um, and I recently upgraded the computer and I had an AMD Ryzen 5 56X and it wouldn't boot so the there may be a few reasons why you want to upgrade the BIOS to fix a non-booting issue because the CPU is not supported in the current firmware i.e. it's an old version or you may want to just update it so the first thing we need to do is to turn the computer off and this process requires a reasonably new gigabyte board um, you will need one with the on the back of the motherboard here there's a, a Q flash USB port on this particular model it's white and on the motherboard if we can see this here, that uh, white button straight ahead, um, if I show you that, uh, it's this one here, this button here, straight ahead, it says uh, Q Flash Plus. I'll tell you how to use all this in a minute. So the first thing we need to do is go to the uh, Gigabyte website and I've searched my board name, A52MDS3H, and then go to support. And this is where you'll find all the drivers for your board. This is where you want to go once you've installed your system, obviously. We want to go down to the bottom and want BIOS. And there's going to be a few versions here. Sometimes when you buy a motherboard, it's not running the latest version. So I'm going to go for F15C. I've, I've downloaded it already, so we don't need to do that. And you'll need a USB drive, something like a 2 gig or 4 gig will do. It really, it's a, it's a 10 meg uh, download, so the smallest USB, even a 256, an old one you've got lying about, would do. So once you've got it downloaded, it's on the desktop. So let's plug our USB drive in. Okay. So let's extract. Let's extract the contents of this uh, compressed file. Okay. So, I'll just drag it over. I'm trying to do this one handed, so apologies for the slowness. So, let's open it up. And in this folder, you've got a few files readme, tells you basic information, if I flash auto exec, and this file here, a52mds3h.15c. Now, this will differ on your motherboard. Uh, model but this is up this is this is my one so what you need to do is right click this file go to rename and you want to delete the entire thing including the dot 15c or whatever your one is and it's gigabyte gigabyte dot bin gigabyte dot bin okay yes once that's renamed, Control A, Control C to copy to select all and copy. Go to your flash drive. So what I do is I will format this here, and we want FAT32 file system. FAT32, that's important. It can be named anything. Yes, format. It'll take a few seconds. Okay, it's done. So now we go on to it. and that's all been pasted over. Remove the USB drive. And the next process is important. This is important one to note. The computer needs to be turned off as it is now. You don't see any fans on or any RGB, etc. if you've got RGB, you know if it's powered on. You need to have the, it needs to be plugged in with the, the power supply, power to it, but don't turn it on. So the next step is to plug this USB drive into this specific Q-Flash uh, BIOS update port, so it's this white one here. And if so, what that's saying is it's got power to USB drive. And the next step to update the BIOS would be to literally press this um, white button, and then the USB drive will start flashing. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that now because I've already done it. I don't want to risk any any problems with this computer because it's running fine. But that's basically how you update the BIOS on the Gigabyte 
uh, motherboard, uh, well, a newish one. Um, if you've got a gigabyte board and you've bought a reasonably new AMD processor and it's just not booting up, say if you built it all, it's not booting up, nothing on the graphics card, and if the if CPU's got a uh, GPU part to it, some of them do, you've plugged it into the HDMI or display port, nothing coming out of there, nothing coming out of the graphics card. Um, you could have a bad CPU or motherboard, but it's, it's unlikely to be a bad CPU. So what I would recommend you doing is just using, following this video, upgrading the BIOS. Um, it will take, take, give it five minutes. Let, once it's, once it's um, flashing, after you've pressed the button, once it's flashing, give it five minutes, go and, go and have a drink or just, just leave it to do what it needs to do. Then come back to it. It will then restart several times and beep. And then once it's up and running, you know that the BIOS has been upgraded. So I hope this video is helpful to anybody that wants to upgrade the Gigabyte Motherboard's BIOS or um, is having problems where they've just built a computer and it's not booting up. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.